I thought soccer was for boys. No, soccer is for everyone. Hey, what's going on in here? This weird girl plays soccer. She doesn't even dance. She's not weird. She's unique. We're all unique in our own way. What's unique about you? All my friends play football and I do cheerleading. Isn't that a girl sport? That's what makes it unique. You don't have to do what everyone else is doing. But that isn't what the cool people do. You're not cool if you're not different. If everyone did the same thing, then no one would stand out. Toby, do you want to come play soccer with me? Totally. You guys can join if you want. You know, I've actually always wanted to try soccer. Should we go? Yeah, me too. Let's go. Being unique can be the new cool. Guys, please start cleaning up so you can move on to playtime. Okay, I'll clean up the crayons. I'll clean up the glue sticks. I'll clean up the scissors. Thank you for cleaning up. Now we can take out the toys. Marin and Gianna, do you want to play with the blocks today? Sure, Ellie. But I want to play with the dolls. Gina, we just played with the dolls yesterday. Let's play with something different today. Can we just play with the dolls tomorrow? Okay, I'm okay with that. So what did you decide on? We decided to play with the blocks today. But I wanted to play with those. But I had it first. You played with it last time. Ellie, Marin, you can each have it for a little and take turns. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, that's fair. Good job. I'm so proud of you all. Okay, everyone. Please start to clean up. It's almost time to go home. Okay. Okay. Children, please gather around the sharing carpet. I have a surprise for everyone. What is it, Mrs. Anna? Because I have seen such good behavior around the classroom, I have brought in cookies. One for everyone. Yay! Only one? Yes. This way, everyone gets a fair amount. I'm so excited to get a cookie. enjoying their cookie? Excuse me, Miss Anna. I didn't get a cookie. How is that possible? Did someone take two? Hey, Sam. You can have half of mine. Thanks, Leah. I'm happy that I see Leah and Sam sharing because it means everyone is being friendly with each other. My tummy hurts. Why do you think it does? Well, I did something bad. What was it? I took two cookies and now I have a stomach ache. <gasps> I'm glad you told the truth, but now you know to control yourself. We don't want you getting hurt anymore. You're right, Miss Anna. Can you get your arm off me? <laughs> 
Integrity, integrity, tell the truth, that's the key. Integrity, integrity, is the best you can give when someone asks a question. Answer honestly, you'll earn their trust and you'll have integrity. Mike, I really like that toy truck. Thanks. Do you want to borrow it? Yeah, please. Thanks so much. Can I borrow that when Tony gives it back? Of course, Sean. Next day, Tony gives the car back to Mike in one piece unharmed. Mike, thanks, Tony, for my car back. Sean, do you want to borrow it now? Yeah, I will give it back to you the next day, Mike. Next day. Hey, Sean, did you bring my toy truck back today? Oh, I totally forgot. I will bring it back tomorrow. Hmm, okay. Next day. Sean brings the toy back to Mike. Mike notices that the wheel fell and gets upset and then says to Sean, My wheel's missing. Yeah, it fell off when I was playing with it and I couldn't find it after. Mike goes home upset and his mother realizes he's upset. Mike, what's wrong? I let my friend borrow my toy and he broke it and lost the wheel. I'm so sad. What classmate was it? Sean. Mike's mom calls Sean's mother and explains to her what happened and how Mike is upset. Sean's mom then explains to Sean how when he borrows things he should return it back in one piece and if it accidentally breaks you should try to fix it. The next day, Sean brings the wheel back and together Sean and Mike fix it. Today is a beautiful day. Want to go play on the swings, Mike? Sure, Gina. I love the swings. Oh, my friends are here too. Do you want to meet them? They're really nice. Hey guys, meet my cool friend Gina. Gina, meet Mary and Marvin. Why are you talking to that tall thing? Ew, what is that? It's so weird. No, don't say that. She's my friend. But why? Her spots are so ugly. Hey, how's the weather up there? She's just like us. She has feelings, too. Yeah, how would you like it if I said mean things to you? It wouldn't bother me. Yeah, we wouldn't care. I do not like it when you guys are mean to Gina. It makes her sad. Can you please stop? Thank you, Mike. You are being such a good friend. I would also like to be friends with you guys if you want to be nice to me. I guess you're not so different after all. Yeah, I guess so. We're sorry for making you feel bad, Gina. It's okay. I forgive you. Let's all go play on the swings now. Everyone is special and unique. Your friends may look very different from you, but they have the same feelings that you do. Everyone is special and unique, you are part. So accept people's differences and always be kind.
never give up. Gotta stick to it, gotta keep trying, never give up. I just can't do it. What can't you do? I can't tie my shoes. My mom still ties them. Look at my new shoes. You have laces too? I learned how to tie them yesterday. Can you guys help Minnie Moo tie her shoes? Yeah, I even know a rhyme. Okay. So you want to learn how to tie your shoes. It's really easy to do. Just sit down and I'll give you the scoop. What's that? It's called the loop-de-loop. -loop. You put your laces in each hand, go over and under again. Take your loop-de-loop -loop and pull. And your shoes are looking cool. You go over and back, left to right, loop-de-loop, -loop and you pull them tight. Like the bunny ears or a Christmas bell, lace them up and you're ready to go. Take your loop-de-loop -loop and pull and your shoes are looking cool. So I put the laces in each hand, go under and over, and take the loop-de-loop. -loop. Yay! I did it! I tied my shoes! Good job! I knew you could do it! Many things could get in your way, but be patient and things will go your way. Thanks for helping me. Never give up. Never give up. Gotta stick to it. Gotta keep trying. Never give up. You've got to have friends. Friends will stick with you. They'll be there till the end. If you would like to have a friend, then you must be a friend. When you are lonely, when you are sad, friends cheer you up and help you feel glad. If you would like to have a friend, then you must do what friends do. Why aren't we friends with the monkeys? They are too small and smelly. Why aren't we friends with the elephants? They are too big and loud. Do you want to do something fun? Yeah, what is it? Let's give the monkeys a bath. Maybe they won't be as smelly anymore. But that's a little mean, Joe. Watch and learn. This is exactly why we are not friends with them. Maybe it was an accident. This was no accident. We are getting them back. Ah! ah. Are these banana peels? They left these on purpose. Maybe it wasn't them. Of course it was them. Who else would leave banana peels all over? We are going to get those smelly monkeys back. Are you sure? Go steal all the bananas. Someone help, I'm stuck. Hey, aren't you the elephant who squirted water on us? No, that was my friend Joe. Why are you stealing my bananas? Joe told me to, I'm sorry. Here, I'll give you a push. Ugh. Do you guys need help? Yes, please. Thank you guys so much. Hey, what's going on, George? They helped me get out of the mud. Monkeys aren't so bad after all. Well, thank you, monkeys. You were a friend when I couldn't be. No problem. problem. Hmm, I can't reach that banana. Here, I'll give you a lift. Thanks a bunch. What are friends for? You are happy when you feel great. Friends share your joy and help you celebrate. If you would like to have a friend, then you must do what friends do. When you have got a whole lot to do, friends will jump in and come to your rescue.
Have you seen my friend Jen the Jaguar? I've been looking all over for her. She ran off. No, I'm sorry. I haven't seen her either. Do you need help looking for her? Yes, please. Any help would be great. Thank you. Jen, Jen, where are you? Come out, come out wherever you are. Are you guys okay? We're looking for Jen. She ran off and nobody knows where she went. Have you seen her? No, but an elephant can see over many things. Maybe I can help find her. That would be great. Thank you so much, Ellie. Gosh, I wonder where she could be. Allie, do you see anything from up there? All I see is Kiki the koala up in her tree. We could ask her if she saw Jen. Good idea. Hey, Kiki. Oh, hi, guys. How have you been? We've been good, thanks. How are you? Great. Kiki, ha you, happen you haven't happened to see Jen the jaguar, right? We can't find her. We've been looking everywhere. No, I haven't, but I can look at the top of my tree and take a look around the area. That would be great. Thank you so much. Guys, I think I see Jen. Really? Where? Not too far from here. Come on, I'll take you. Jen, thank goodness we found you. We've been worried sick. I've been looking for you. Hi, Kiki, Gloria, Ellie. Oh my gosh, Jen, we're so, we were so scared something might have happened to you. I'm fine. Don't worry. Well, it's late and it, we've had an exhausting day. Let's go home. Okay, guys, sorry for making you worried. It's okay. We're just glad you're safe now. Thank you, Ellie, Gloria, and Kiki for helping me find Jen. I wouldn't have been able to find her without you. It was our pleasure. Good night, guys. Yeah, it really was no problem. Good night. Good night, guys.